So what's your name? It's uh, Francis Jackson. And how old are you, Francis? I'm 75. And recently you've been using virtual wards. Yes, uh, there were two two occasions. Um, one was in October, and that followed on from... Uh, we'd actually gone to the doctors, and uh, they did a blood test and uh, ECG, and they immediately referred me to DRI. Yeah. So we went into DRI in the afternoon, and we came out the following morning at 7 o'clock. Yeah. And I'd been referred to the um, cardiologist. Uh, we went to see them and they referred us to the virtual one. Yeah. I'd never heard of this. Yeah. I, you know, it, uh, it was totally new to us. So I didn't know what to expect. But the big advantage is, and the blessing for me, was that I wasn't admitted to hospital. Yeah. You know, I mean, if you have to be admitted to hospital because you've got an operation or anything like that, that I think you can tolerate and you can't wait to get out. But to be able to come home, be in your own environment, and for the nurses to come to you, and like niece already said, my wife, uh, you couldn't wish for better people. Yes. Um, I was five days, uh, everything seemed to go all right, so they discharged me, mm. and that, that was in October of last year. Unfortunately, I relapsed, and that was in December, mm. so again, I was referred to the virtual ward, and uh, once again, went through the process of blood being taken, uh, temperature being taken, ECG, um, blood pressures and all the rest of it. Um, but it's in... Whilst you, you know that you're ill, you're in a relaxed environment. Yes. And that, is, that is, to me, is the biggest thing. Yeah. Plus, you're with your own partner, but, um, and it's less stress for them, mm -hmm. they're not worried about it. Plus, they can keep an eye on you, can't they? So you can't really get up to any mischief. It benefited... Well, Frank, for instance, with his treatment, that they were able to come to him at home. Mm. But it also benefited myself and relatives mm. that didn't have to go into the hospital to yeah. see him. Um, because it's two buses for me because I don't drive. And all the kids, our kids work full time. Yeah. So it would, you know, it would have put me, to, they'd have done it, they'd have taken me. But it, it saves all that, yeah. you know, so, yeah, yeah I think it's marvellous. I really had a carotid endarterectomy. I uh, was in um, the critical care and they kicked me out the following morning because uh, clearly I was well enough. You're well and enough. that's what it's all about with the virtual ward. Yeah. It's just an extension of the hospital, but in your own home. Yeah. You know, you've got your own facilities, you're not having to wander around looking for things or whatever, or getting permission to, you know, go to the loop. That's probably the only thing, nobody brings you a bottle. <laughs> You have, to, you have to do that yourself. So virtual ward, for anybody listening, is where the care's turn round and delivered oh, in your own home yeah. rather than on a ward. If you're watching this video and you're offered the opportunity to go on virtual ward, what would Grab you say it. to them? Grab it. Yeah? Um, it, it is. I know sometimes people will say, oh, you know, um, if you're in hospital, you're getting your meals and that. But when you're at home, you still get your meals and that. You've got your family around you. You know, the... It is so much less hassle and less, less stress. And do you feel you could get better quicker because you were at home? I think I honestly believe that you do mm. because you haven't got the trauma of being in the ward where other people are mm. poorly. Um, I mean, one of the things that people do say, you're in hospital, and I've experienced it some time ago, in the middle of the night, you're disturbed. Yeah. Not by the staffing nurse or whatever, but by the the residents, you know, the people that are actually in there. Because not everybody can sleep. Mm. You know? um, I don't knock the hospital because it has its place and people need it, specific, uh, especially, sorry, when they've had an operation. Yeah. You know, you need that care. Uh, sorry. Because I truly believe that if it wasn't for the virtual ward, I might not have been here. And, and that's a big thing to me. I know that I'm not out of the woods yet. Yes. But we're getting there. And, and the follow-up from those two um, re times that I were in the virtual ward um, has opened the doors.
Yeah. You know, um, people have, have sat up and listened and looked and investigated. Mm. And now I'm hoping that uh, we're on the last uh, leg. Yeah. Thank you very much, Frank, for your uh, for your comments on virtual war. No, it's the best thing that's been since sliced bread, really has. If the, if the whole of the NHS can adopt it, I'm sure it would be a better service. Excellent. Thank you. Thank you.